Smoked out city on a two-wheeler cruiser Looking for the big kahuna Walk through the heat and the cars The groups and little bars My ideas, they could not come sooner Well, if I lock it up They're gonna steal it If I leave it, they won't come near it And when I get on Anywhere I'm gonna go Up the beat and track where the buses don't Hands-on science is an opportunity for kids in the year 11, 12, 13 to come to Otago, get put up at a University Hall of Residence and spend a week doing science essentially. Green science! Woo! A pair of scissors, you push the scissors right in and just make little cuts with the throat of the scissors there. We're just cutting out the gonads and we're going to compare it to the body weight and then we can see how it would be when it's mating and how fertile it is. I got like a needle about that long and I put it in its, its mouth, squeezed it with potassium chloride and then it got all excited. The kinnit is now releasing sperm. Uh, at Hands On Science, I guess it's just meeting all these new people, which has been great. Like, everyone's so nice because we kind of share the whole nerdiness thing in common. And even though everyone's kind of here for the same purpose to like learn science and um, experience the university, like, you, you'd expect it to be very competitive with that kind of stuff, but it's not like that everyone's so open to sharing their ideas and and sharing their intellectual ability, and that's what I've enjoyed about it. Well, we are at Tyra Head on the Otago Peninsula. I can catch your hand. So, today we are learning about effective pest control in order to protect the little blue penguins around here. Um, today we've built um, digging holes for penguin houses so that it's cooler in the hot weather. And then we're putting the houses back in the holes. Gas works in Dunedin and we've just made a simulation for a steam engine. They're going to make us spikelets um, with cream and jam and everything. <laughs> speakers over there, we are able to make the wine glass vibrate at about 600 times a second and then the using the strobe light we set the frequency slightly differently and then it illuminates the wine glass while it's moving. We're trying to find the resonant frequency of the glass, we've done this by rubbing our finger around the rim, rim of it and we're trying to replicate that with the speaker and hopefully given sufficient amplitude and the correct frequency we should be able to shatter it. We cannot break glasses because the amplifier appears to be dead and I appear to have blown up a speaker. Okay. Oh. 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 Um, my favourite part of hands-on science um, is probably the fact there's just so much to do and you just never get bored.
so that was awesome. I didn't know we could do things like that, and it's what you learn here is really exciting. So it's been good. Yeah.